Well, ABC News has been on the ground in Uvalde since the tragedy started, and we haven't left. And we have this project that we've kept going called Uvalde 365 Project. And our team as part of this actually donated cameras to eight former students of Robb Elementary School, and they had one task, help us see their world, the town of Uvalde, through their eyes. Check it out. It's like a little small town, but there is some surprises in here. It's fun because there's like a lot of places here. It's kind of good, but kind of bad because of people that are very bad people. things to take a picture of and they have meanings to them like happy meanings, sad meanings, angry meaning. My favorite part of the photo workshop right now is well taking pictures. That is one thing I've always wanted to do. I've never had one of these cameras before and it's a cool experience. I love being with everybody most of all. I like meeting new people. If you're in a dark place, you could use your flash. Then if something's out of focus, you could focus on it. I like how you can tell your story without words. What kind of story do you want to tell? Mm, I want to tell that, you know, things can be better and get better. So I want to tell people that not to be afraid too much. What's been your favorite picture so far? I took up Olivia's mural. Why is that your favorite? Because she was my friend. When I was in my car and uh, we were going to my grandma and grandpa was here, so I brought my camera and I took and I took a picture of the clouds because they look cool. Uh, those are my cats, um, Scarlet and Mac. They're very strong. Like one of my, like two of my cats got attacked by a dog. But they survived. Oh, that was in a car wash. I thought it was very pretty with all the lights. My dad, he like takes care of me. He takes care of me when I'm sick and all that. My parakeets. The blue one is named Rico and the green one is named Saul. They're in my room all the time. That makes me feel safe. Uh, my favorite one would have to be one of the flowers. Why is that your favorite? It just looks really perfect. That is the future of our business right there. Love Chiara that. Alfonseca, wow, what an amazing project. You are such a big part of this. You're one of the amazing, talented news producers who helped bring Uvalde uh, in focus to life. Just tell us more about this project and how did you know which kids should have the cameras? How did you put it all together? Yeah, so the initial thought for this was that reporters are so often the ones telling other people's stories for them. And we wanted to kind of give the young survivors of the tragedy kind of a chance to take control of the narrative, tell their own stories and show their community through their own eyes. So we gave them cameras and they were so eager to learn how to use them um, and to have that opportunity to tell us their thoughts and their feelings and, and their stories through this photojournalistic experience. You know, Kiara, as soon as we were watching it, I said that this is beautifully produced and I, I can't wait to watch the, the whole thing. Uh, these children have something special uh, to tell us. They're the children who survived the shooting, of course, among the children who survived the shooting at Robb Elementary. And I, and I wondered, one of the things that was nice is that there were, there were things they were taking that related to that, either directly or in their hearts, you could tell, and things that weren't. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you make of them what, of, uh, and of what they've given to us with this, with this project? Yeah, so we kind of helped guide them through, you know, what kind of stories they wanted to tell and how they want to tell it. So some of the subjects that they specifically covered in the project are, you know, people and places that make them feel 
feel safe. So for some that could look like church, for some that could look like their parents. Um, we asked them to take pictures of things that were important to them. And I believe one student took a photo of a protest. And another topic was, you know, um, taking, you know, things that were, um, you know, impactful, things that made them uh, feel happy. And, you know, that looked like it kind of came about in so many different ways, like the memorials that honor their friends um, that they lost in the tragedy. So through these snapshots, um, we kind of could see the students and the city kind of recovering following the tragedy. You could see their resilience um, and also how they chose to, you know, move forward from this. You know what I'm seeing now, sort of, you know, thinking out loud, you could take all these photos and you could make photo books of these, sell them to raise money for the community, maybe sure. an, an, a photography program, an art program. Kiara, I'm just thinking out loud here on the air. I think we've got another project uh, to, uh, <laughs> to, to assign you to carry out here. I, I mean, I, but I'm, I'm curious, did the kids have interest in photography before? Um, is this, did they have to learn how to use the cameras, you know, how to focus? How, how did they become such good photographers? Because Terry and I were sitting here saying, mm. Oh my gosh, these pictures are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, a lot of them already have experience like using their cell phone cameras. So at least it was adaptable um, to what they had with the professional cameras. But yeah, we held a workshop to kind of teach them all of the, the little tools, how to focus, how to use Zoom, how to um, think about lighting, think about color, all of these different things that go into telling your story through photos. Um, and all of them had kind of, or at least a lot of them had, uh, you know, expressed their emotions through drawings, through art through other different mediums. So it was uh, pretty easy for them to kind of uh, take a look into photography and how they want to tell their stories that way. And Kara, I just want to draw on, on your experience uh, helping to put this together and your the way you got to know those children and the community as well. What do you think the, the future looks like for them? Yeah, I... <laughs> I think no one knows what's in store for Uvalde. It's a, a complex place that is certainly not uh, monolithic, right? Um, but thankfully, I, we have, you know, the as you mentioned before, the Uvalde 365 team on the ground that's kind of covering all of these nuances, you know, whether it's guns, safety, or, you know, as we talked about before, you know, this grieving recovery process that the city's going through. Well, what an incredible project. We can't wait to see more. And um, just seeing all the faces there of the victims and and this and this project, I mean, what a what a tribute to them, what an honor, um, Kiara, Alfonseca, amazing job, the whole team, really incredible yeah. project. Thank you. Thanks so much. And to see uh, photos from the Uvalde 365 digital project, the kids of Rob Elementary, you can simply go to abcnews.com slash Uvalde in focus, or you can scan the code below for the full experience right there on the side of your screen. QR code. We'll be right back. Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.